What's up everyone? Welcome back here to the channel for another car to car merch. Now I did post this one yesterday. It was a little bit more complicated than this, but this one is very easy. More than one person can merge and you can do any car in the game except for facility vehicles and planes. Unfortunately you will not be able to do facility vehicles or planes. planes. So please stay tuned for the full glitch. So as always, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and join my GTA and Minecraft Discord servers. Links will be in the description. If y'all do need help with this glitch, ask one of my members of the Discord server or one of my staff members or me. We'll be more than glad to help y'all. You can do this on new gen and old, and you can do this on, um, you can do this on PS and you can on Xbox and PC and works on the platforms and on top of that y'all I just want to let y'all know I did recently start me up a old gen GTA account so I will be doing some car meet streams and also um my car services pretty soon on old gen and also new gen and so stay tuned for more on that. So, do not go far from the channel from that. Keep this post notifications turned on for more information. All you need to do first is go ahead and pull up the cars that you want to put the mods onto. So, for this video, I'm doing two to show you that you can mod more than one car at a time. So, that's very unique. So, I'm just going to pull up this car. Then, I'm going to bring out the next one that I want to pull up. So I just want to use any type of bomb or gun, anything that will blow up the car. Then I just want to make my way back inside, grab the next car, and blow it up. From there, you want to make your way to the LS car meet, and you want to get the car that you want to pull the mods from. Now you will need your job showing on your map, and you need someone inside a different targeting mode. So, if you are a free name, you will need someone assisted name. If you are an assisted name doing it, you will need someone in free name to bounce off of. And to get your job showing up on your map, you just go to your interactions menu and go to the map blimp options and set all jobs to show. And that's for new gen and old gen. And so now the car is blown up. So to get me the LS car meet faster, I'm having my friend invite me to LS car meet. So I can get there air faster so I'm just gonna wait for his end but once I'm there you just wanna call up the car you wanna pull all the mods from and then you want to get inside your car or your friend wants to get inside his car. Now whoever starts up the sprint, they can invite up three more people to their sprint race and all of those three all of those three people that join can be able to mod. The one person will not be able to mod is the person that starts up the sprint. So I'm just gonna call my mechanic. I'm just gonna call my mechanic. And I'm gonna request the car that I want to pull the mods from. Once the car does spawn in, I just want to get inside of it. My friend wants to get inside his car and he wants to start our sprint. Once the timer fully gets, gets going and we actually load into the sprint, I will show you what will happen next. So I'm just going to look for my car here inside the meat. And I'm going to go sit inside of it. And my friend should be sitting inside of his. And then I will accept his sprint invite. So I'm going to find my car. Now I'm going to accept the sprint invite. Now, once we load into the sprint, your friend just wants to drive around so he does not get kicked for being idle. For you and the other people that are modding, you just want to make your way to the nearest LS Customs. Now, there's one just right up the street from LS Car Meet. So, I will catch y'all all when I'm over there at the LS Customs. So 
I just want to go to the nearest Alice Customs as soon as the timer starts here. Once I get to the nearest Alice Customs, all you want to do is bounce off of someone inside a different target mode. And I usually use Animal Black, which is a bot account, is a real person, but it's more like a bot account in case it's in the same session. The reason why I use him is because I am in a assistant aim and he's always inside of a free game. So I just want to find the nearest Alice Customs. Here, and I want to go down to the wit. I did pass one right by it, I believe, so bear with me, guys. So, here is the LS Customs entrance ways. I just want to come over here. And now I want to go ahead and just bounce off of someone inside a different targeting mode. So I'm just going to use Anwac. I'm going to go to his profile and I'm going to go to join game. And I want to accept the first alert and decline the second. Meanwhile, your friend just wants to drive around so he does not get kicked for being idle. So I'm going to accept the first, decline the second. Now you want to open up your pause menu, find the job on your map. Magical other job. Hover over it, press X to start the job for Xbox and get the fail to load the job alert. From here, you want to make your way inside LS Customs. Once inside LS Customs, you want to back out to where you are on the exit hit menu. So I'm on the screen right now to repair the car. I just want to back out. So I'm on the word that says exit, and I just want my whole wide to respond. Now it will put me on a black screen, but at that point, I do just want to just bounce off of someone in a different target mode again. So now I'm on the black screen. So I just want to bounce off of someone in a different target mode. So I'm going to go to the game. On the end whack here. And I'm going to get Accept the first alert, climb the second. Now I'm in the LS Customs on foot. So all I want to do now is walk out and I want to get inside of a street vehicle and drive away. Now it will try to teleport me back, but that is okay. okay. If it does, so just know it will try to teleport you. And once you get on the way, you just want to return your car to storage, your personal vehicle, and call it Morse Mutual. Um, and call the car, request the car back from Morse Mutual that you blew up. So as you see, so it did help me back. So what I do have to do very quickly go back now to LS Customs and do it again. I was not fast enough to get inside of a streetcar. There was not a streetcar near me. So I just want to turn around here and go back down there. And I want to repeat that part of the glitch all over again. So I just want to go and repeat the steps all over. So I just need to get back there to the LS Customs to repeat it. You kind of do have to be quick, guys, to get inside of a street vehicle. You do have to be quick with it.
So I have to go back down here and I do have to enter the LS Customs again and then bounce off the old and whacked. So it's going to open up for me. I'm going to go inside. Back out to the exit menu. And I want to hold Y to respawn. Try and go for PlayStation. Bounce off the Anawak. And I want to get three vehicles as fast as I can. And drive away and return my car to storage. So I want to accept the first alert, decline the second, walk out. And I want to very quickly get to the road. And I want to return my personal vehicle to storage. So I'm going to go here to vehicles. I'm going to get, in my, get into a street vehicle real quickly. It's going to find me one. Get inside of. So I'm going to get inside this one right here. And I'm going to drive away. And I'm going to return. My personal vehicle storage is trying to teleport me, but I'm going to keep spawning back in the AI car. I was able to real fastly to get this time into a street car. So now all I want to do is call Morse Mutual, request a car from Morse Mutual that I want to put the mods onto. Once it spawns in on the map, you just want to hold Y to respawn triangle for PlayStation, Y for Xbox. So I'm just going to call Morse Mutual. And I'm going to request the car that I want to put the mods on to. So I just call the car. And once I see it popped up on the map, I just want to hold Y and respawn. So it didn't respawn. So I'm just going to hold Y. This spawn in. And now I'm inside the car with the mods on it. Now to save the car, you'll do the car and do another car right after. You just go back to LS Customs. And you change this one thing on the car, you back out. And I'm going to show you how you can mod the same, another car while you're still glitched out. We are still glitched. So we can mod as many vehicles as we want to. So just remember how many vehicles you want to mod. You just have to blow that many cars up before we're doing the glitch. So I just want to make my way back to LS Customs. And I want to change one thing on the car. Once I do so, well, I can then do another one. So now I just want to go inside, change one thing on the car. So I'm just going to change one thing. So I did change something on the car. Now I'm going to back out. I thought that was customs. I'm going to drive back in. So I can mod the next car. So now that I drove out. I'm just going to go in reverse. And go right back in. This time I'm going to back out. To where I'm on the exit menu. And I'm going to hold wide to respawn again. So I'm just going to hold Y, go respawn, get on the black loaded screen, then for the black loaded screen, bounce off all white and black again, for a different target mode alert. Set the first alert, decline the second, walk out on foot, and I'm going to go and get inside of a streetcar and drive away real quickly before I do get teleported back here inside of my last vehicle I had out. So I'm just going to get to the street and I'm going to get to a car. So you do have to be quick to get to a street. So I'm just going to drive away. See, it's already starting to teleport me, but I'm still in the streetcar. I was able to get the streetcar very quickly. So I'm just going to interact this menu, return my personal vehicle to storage, 
Now it's called Morse Mutual and call out the next car for Morse Mutual that I want to mod. So I'm going to call it Morse Mutual. And then when the car responds in on the map, I just hold Y to respond. And I make my way to LS Customs to change one thing on the car or to save it. So I just want to wait for the car to spawn in on the map. So it didn't spawn in. So I just want to hold Y to respawn. Now I did load in with the mods onto the car. Now I just want to make my way back to the custom shop and change one thing on the car to fully save it. And you can just keep repeating this over and over again until you mod all the vehicles that you want to do. Film until you're done. And then once you're done, you can either finish the sprint or you can have the person that started up the sprint and leave the game. Okay. So unfortunately with this method, you will not be able to do planes or A trailers because when you do call them from Morse Mutual, they do go back to your hangar. And on top of that, with the, the facility vehicles, they also do go back to your hangar as well. So keep that in mind. So I hope y'all did find this switch very successful and helpful. Other than that, y'all, I will catch y'all inside the next video. And go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch y'all all inside the next video. Peace out.